Hi, this is Max. In a previous video, we tested a turbine by a familiar designer named Dan. That turbine was called the torque turbine. And it absolutely destroyed my wind tunnel. Like, physically destroyed. I had to rebuild after recording that episode. If you missed that episode, I'll leave a link where you can find it. This is a stronger, less flexible version of the torque turbine. Hopefully that doesn't mean it's also more destructive. I think it's time we retest this turbine and give it a chance at a full run. Some of you may have also noticed the change in color scheme. That's because I ran out of red filament and what I had left was bought by my wife and son. So today we get sparkle turbine. Anyways, besides absolutely destroying my wind tunnel, the torque turbine also holds the record for highest output drag style turbine. And it did that on the old setup and it didn't get to finish the whole run. That's enough talking. I think let's test it. No! Neat. Guess we get to try again. That was a little bit too wobbly for me. Uh, it's giving me flashbacks. So I've made something. It's the improved stick of stability. It's metal and it's got a springy bit, a rolly bit, well, a rolly bit for rolling and the latest and greatest in wind tunnel technology, cones. I need to take that off. Gotta do it later. He did not do it later. Here's how it works. Okay, the regulars around here may have noticed a few additions to the testing software. I had a request from a subscriber in the last video to add the tip speed ratio, and I was working on another part of the software, and it seemed like a good opportunity to procrastinate. Adding the TSR didn't actually take nearly as long as I thought it would, so I thought, what other information could I add? And this actually turned out to be a very good side quest, because I landed on what I think might be a good way to compare the different turbines. Efficiency, or how much of the available power do they extract from the wind? To do this, I need two things. The instantaneous power in watts from the generator, 
which we already know, than the available power in the wind, which we can calculate using the formula P times A times V cubed divided by 2. P is the fluid density, in our case air. A is the swept area of the turbine, and V is the wind velocity, and out pops the available power. Finally, to get the turbine's efficiency, we divide the power we extracted with the turbine by the available power. Ta-da! A number. <sighs> Future Max here. Um, I noticed a mistake made by Past Max. He used the radius instead of the diameter to calculate the rotor area. So ignore the efficiency for this video. I fixed the smooth brain mistake Anyways, let's get back to watching the idiot. Let's look at the results of the torque turbine. So the first time it ran, it did a 0.7273. And today, it did a 1.2965. That's getting really close to the airfoils. So, some of you may have also noticed that the tip speed ratio went above 1. This is technically not possible with a drag style blade. They literally, by definition, cannot spin faster than the wind driving them. I even asked you about it in a poll. This is only half true. And like anything else in the real world, there's a bit of nuance. Very well designed drag rotors, like Dan's rotor here, can in fact have a component of lift. This will allow the blades to spin with a TSR greater than one. Now I am still a little suspect of my pressure sensor. I have dropped it a couple of times. Anyways, a really good performance, as always, from Dan's Turbine. Now, the overall scores. Um, it doesn't change the torque turbine's place, but it does put it within striking distance of some of the airfoils. If you'd like to join in the fun, feel free to check out the description for links on how to submit a design. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Oh shoot, one more thing, and an important one more thing. The thing I was procrastinating. I also had time to finish that. I can now export the data from each of these runs. I'll be publishing the results on GitHub in CSV format, so all of you can do your own analysis. Link in the description. The CSV data will also be corrected, hopefully. Okay, thanks. Bye.